And um, it lacks what I would call the winterized facilities. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have, although the, many people do use the pixie cabin in the winter. Right, but they could, they, it has this, if we call, it has the same what we would call winterized at any of our properties. If you carry it in your own water. Yeah. 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 It doesn't but, have running water and so they can. And walked in. Right, you gotta walk in and carry in your own water. What are the bathrooms? Did you rent it? That case? No, we don't rent them out. No. So it doesn't have winter. Right, well, not as we've been defining it. Allow it. It doesn't have it. Um, the bathrooms are inadequate for the number of people who can use the property. Yeah, they're too far, and they're too far away from any of the units. Right. They're very. Yeah, it would be difficult to get to the latrines, I would find, if I was a little girl sleeping there. And it has um, very little flat land. It is primarily steep slopes. There's beautiful large Adirondacks, but they're not sweet. I, I, I would have to agree with you on that. Well, we have 300 acres, and 10 of them are flat. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't realize this, but what, what people end up using is the 10 acres. We don't use a lot of the... Uh, we don't use the other 300. So that's right. right. We don't use wow. properties that's right, but I would consider that a negative because of expansion possibilities. Candy, I see, I see what you're saying. as a per if for its current use, it probably is adequate. But if we want to do more there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unless we're building into the slope, right? Right, mm -hmm. I understand. that makes more sense. What yeah. Right, here. yeah, because I mean, it would be great for hiking, it's got great hiking, hiking capabilities because it is so Ooh. steep. Um, the waterfront is lacking. Yes. <coughs> a, a large pavilion with character. <laughs> <laughs> it also has had vandalism issues. Yes. Um, and there's no on-site caretaker. So we've had a, quite a few vandalism issues. It has the potential for a really nice program center. That's year round. It really would could be a lovely place for the center now. Okay. The other thing is it doesn't have swimming. Yeah. Is there no water at the water? They have to go off site for water. Yeah. Horses. No, horses. No, horses. no horses. Why can't they use that pond for swimming? Out of curiosity. Because <laughs> just because oh, yes. of they just access to it. Just pull them out when you come out. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about kids not wanting to. Did you get the pavilion? Sorry, pavilion. Popular, right? It's such a nice pavilion. What do you think about that, Sarah? I think you tried it. Tell me how you feel about that. I think you tried them balls early. I was just more curious as whether we could put stuff down and remove the leeches, or is it just incapable of swimming anyway? Can we build it up? I mean, can we? I, I don't we only own a portion of the water. Okay. Most ponds in New Hampshire, you throw a salt block in your water, it gets rid of the leeches in like a hundred yard radius. Yeah. Really? <coughs> the environmental <laughs> laws <laughs> in Vermont are a lot different yeah. stricter <laughs> than there. So I've never been to a hill that I don't yeah. know. I mean, I find it just so much. The access is really marshy as well. Like, you kind of have to access it in yeah. swamps to get to it because yeah. we just like <laughs> putting like drops through the marsh. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just I know we brought boats there, but I don't know how easy it is for the girls to actually get into the boats without tipping over from the access. I find the access very difficult. Mm -hmm. Now they're a lot more limber than I am. But. Mm -hmm. Although it is close to the nearest, the second largest population, it's not convenient to get to because a lot of people don't. That's one of the complaints. So not Isn't convenient. That, is poor signage maybe or poor direction? No, I think it's just like no there's no easy way to get <laughs> No uh, signage, they say. Yeah, that's no Vermont. Yeah, there's no signage. but And because for many months of the year, the road is very difficult. Yeah. It would be hard to have a year round facility there unless, and that's a town road. Really? Yeah, it's not. What town is it in? Richmond. 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 Is it close to Lake Champlain? No. Not no. so much. About 40 minutes to Lake Champlain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the positive, we do have uh, there. Have what? We have archery. Archery. <laughs> archery. Yeah. Actually, it's a very pretty camp. Yeah. They yeah. just. And aren't all the shellfish now, don't they, aren't they all screened in? No. No, no they're screened in. Oh, okay. Um, they there is hiking trails there as well. 
Yeah. Um, Each unit does have the capability of cooking at their actual unit as well. We can't promote any more business there, though. We don't have the no. buildings or the ability to get people there. Right. We rent it to Boy Scouts more than Girl Scouts. Yeah, really? <laughs> So, I was I was never that, yeah, yeah, their wish list is different. I would say that's a positive like an in between positive and okay. negative. Yeah. I wouldn't really say that it's, I mean, it's bringing income. Right, it's just not serving our mm -hmm. mission. Right. So, what are the, the sleeping facilities there? It's just at Adirondacks. Adirondacks. It's just on screen. On screen. So, no I'm flexibility, screen. no flex, no variety of no. sleeping. But I would say that it's also one of our fastest growing day camps. Yeah, it's the day camp's growing. Okay. Why is that? Location, probably. Because we have a great director. Oh, the only property we have in No, we have Farnsworth. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. We have, we have 600 acres out there still that aren't on the divestiture list. Is there potential for them to put low rows back? Any of those? Oh, yeah. Potential for them. Potential for them. Okay. Take advantage of that slope area that we have there. No kitchen. And the only place with bathrooms. So no electricity. The only bathrooms are the four latrine stalls. Oh, okay, yeah, that's really that do have rodents. So if you oh, talk about rodents rich. elsewhere, I <laughs> we have rodent issues at all of our properties equally, I think. Okay. Yeah, but it is easy to get there. I think it's prettier than the sea would be. Oh, it is. It, I mean, I yeah. think it's a, a lot nicer, even though we don't have... It's, it's a more close-knit camp facility. You know, like all of the cabins are together, are ringed around the the, um, the field. Where are you? I am. I think somebody's trying to tell them this. Yeah, I'll be right out. Can you hear it, Trisha? What are they saying? Yeah. Uh, Oh, well, <laughs> Anything else before we go on to our questions? Okay. All right. So. So the first one is what do the girls want, and we do have a list here of some of the things. But since we have a girl right here, <laughs> are there any other <laughs> wants, ideas, dreams? Um, if we could have things like uh, closer, but for the older girls at least, closer to other places as well, so we could like stay there at night, but go other places during the day. So close to other programs or yeah. other. Attractions. Yes, I can't hear. She, she was saying um, closer, having facilities close to attractions is a positive. Mm -hmm. It's something yeah. that the girls want. I don't know, like maybe in the future, they sell down Peter Wood and Saki or Sunnaby. Big Lake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for skiing in the winter or for summer? For both. For both. Because gun stops right there. Yeah. Yeah, and they have. Um, skiing as well as boating. Well, yeah. Would you be any big lake? Or are you familiar with those two? I'm just wondering if Lake Champlain would also count. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think nice bathrooms are a big thing, <laughs> to be honest. Like, <laughs> what about 
about internet facilities? Oh, yeah. Uh, having like 3G, 4G up there, <laughs> cell phone series, that's great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what are you yeah, I think more like outdoor activities, like the ropes courses. Okay. Um, the kayaking, stuff like that. And you like a variety of things, so you can try them. Yeah. So why do you want phone service at camp? Remember, this isn't just a camp. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say internet. <laughs> but having having upgraded internet facilities will allow us to run more interactive. Right. It will allow us to also do some sort of like STEM activities. Mm -hmm. we, we'd be able to use, do technology if we had yeah. computers and internet capability. We'd be able to do yeah. that. But we have to buy into what the facility might look like in order to provide those yeah. this possibilities. Is this is a Russian. Yeah. No idea is a bad idea. No. I mean, mm -hmm. I think water skiing and sailing would be huge attractions. Yeah. yeah. Water skiing. Wow. Motor <laughs> they go along with your big, big legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> water skiing and sailing. Sailing. <laughs> Wakeboarding. Yeah, like all of those tubing. Tubing. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Even tubing down a river. <laughs> <laughs> What about fishing? Do you guys fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers are constantly asking me to go surfing. Yeah, we went surfing once. That was oh, probably the peak. best thing. You can surf indoors. It's so fun. Yeah, you can oh, really? Do we have 156 yeah. girls going there this yeah. weekend yeah. to no, do surfing in the Great. Day. That's your facility, right? Well, yeah, we're working up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but one of the yes. well. Uh, that I got. think for the girls, yeah. the main thing, we don't really care what the building looks like as long as like the bathrooms and the, um, like where you're sleeping is fine. Because that's pretty much what you're there, like using our facility, like in, inside. So what's your preference for sleeping facilities? Um, not hands. <laughs> uh, like, like a building, I guess. Like bathrooms. Everyone all together, or like smaller little rooms or bunk I houses? Think both are <laughs> so buildings with bathrooms. Yeah. Like a mini dorm. Yeah. Pretty really. much. <laughs> and even like with a kitchenette and a common room. Yeah. yeah. I think music programs would help out. Mm -hmm. What type of music programs? Um, I, I think like everything on TV. Uh, I don't know, like songwriting. Like a camp I went to had different tracks. Like you could sign up for. So you want to do sports? You can do that. You want to do music? You like wrote songs or. Okay. Um, yeah, well, it's like rock band type thing. Rock, like rock camp type thing? Yeah. Okay. Air conditioning is nice. <laughs> 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 it's not really fun. I think that's going to be a crock. Yeah, I want that in my house first yeah. before I want it in here. <laughs> hey, if we're talking about program buildings, I like air conditioning too. Yeah. <laughs> so year round, from a girl's point of view. Huh. I mean, would you utilize or want to utilize a building? If it's if it's near other stuff, then definitely. Like if it's near a mountain or if it's yeah. near a lake where you're just skating on, then sure. So um, I think if it's in the middle of nowhere with like nothing to do, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be like jumping out to go. Be cold. <laughs> I think there is a disadvantage though to all of our camps, which you're kind of made me think about it, that they don't have air conditioning. Last summer, we that it was 100 degrees. It's like in a car yeah. to try to cool them off while they're suffering from like heat exhaustion because there's no place in camp that has air conditioning. Yeah. Including the house. I think even just including having like the nurses off is not air conditioning. Yeah. 
None of the camps, and I just remember, this is really not a tip, but none of the camps, there's no good place for equipment because between the dirt roads or the windows or no windows, mm -hmm. um, it's hard to get technology in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think fire pits are definitely essential. It's always something around you at night, especially with your tube. Per unit or a centralized like any, kind of thing. Both I agree. Just like campfires in general. Okay. So keep that. Um, I think the fields too. Fields are always good for games as well. And um, what about the food? Um <laughs> I don't know. The food to me doesn't really matter that much. Um I don't know. I think as long as there's like, s like an alternative to the whatever meal they're just having, like say some, if some kids like oh, variety of food. Yeah. Okay. Or not even that, but just like a second smaller option for girls who don't like. Okay. Yeah, like salad bars or something. Okay. But overall, it's not bad then. Yeah. Okay. I don't know food service director can hear it. <laughs> we actually outsource that, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what else? Thinking outside the box. If you could design and go to a place, what would make you really want to go to a place? I'm 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 i i Oh, we don't have mountain bikes. It's really the Boy Scouts. I'm thinking of a camp I go to every summer, which is Mount Manaba. And like, they have the mountain to hike, and they also have a lake to go to, which are huge draws for me. Mm -hmm. um, at least because, again, that's something you can go out and do to right there. Okay. They have a zip line. They yeah, have a zip line and or pool yeah. mm -hmm. for the rainy days. So many oh, different the, things. What, the destination. Yeah. Destination. No. Yeah. Right at the oh, the destination was to get the thing I like. I went to a destination in Alabama, which um, it can be extremely hot. This is like an ideal thing, but they have buses that take you everywhere, um, all around the campus. It was really nice. How do you get around now? Just walk wow. here. Walk. Oh, really? So you don't. So really? Yeah, they no walk around all the properties. Well, I mean, if they go to a. If they go to another camp, then we. Yeah. Have bands. But you're talking about within the camp itself, they have buses? So you could take a bus from the dining hall to the swimming pool? Yeah. Especially, well, I mean, especially in Alabama because it's so hot all the time. Well, in the winter, you're going to have bands to be warm. Yeah. Here. All right, so buses for. Didn't matter how far the distance, or were they far apart? Um, Like from the. From the like dorms or whatever, the sleeping building to the um, like food area. I think it was three minute bus I think it, was, it wasn't dressed. It wasn't so at right. all. I can't even believe it. <laughs> 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 it was like very nice. Huh. Yeah. But the building there is too um, for sleeping. I really like their setup. They would have like four bunk beds in the room. Yeah. And then it was like, um, think of hall, hall stop. All style living for college. Right. It's just like that. Yeah. A dorm. Yeah. Makes sense. Kind of like a hostel, really. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice because the leaders could be in one room and the right. room. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to share? <laughs> well, it will be up. Oh, wait, what are rafting? That's a big Raft one. Raft yeah. Yes. Especially for the older ones. Yeah. <laughs> now, would you talk about horseback riding for troop activities as well, or just for camp? When I think about camp, I am Oh, sure. My daughter did not go to camp last summer because she was in eighth grade and. The only two programs she liked were the two weeks, like it overlapped our family vacation. And she didn't go the year before because she went on a destination, but she had gone since kindergarten and she was just totally disappointed. Because it was only offered. There was no, <laughs> it was so limited. 
if she didn't move horses, <coughs> she would have been with like third through eighth graders, and she did not want that. So, yes. so for the first time variety. ever, she didn't go to camp because there wasn't enough of a program variety for the older kids. I think that's the other thing, like, so what I'm saying, having the track so you can sign up. To get older, like, you want to kind of go towards your interests, so having, being able to, like, like, if there are three of us, like, I want to do the out, like, outdoor stuff, or one kid wants to do sports, one kid wants to do music or arts, like, having those options to pick, I think you're you mean switching each day or your whole no, week? No, like your whole week, you're like, that's what I that. So different tracks. Yeah. But the that's whole it. truth is together. Right. At like, night. they'd be together at night, but just for, like, at my camp, we do, um, <coughs> like, from 12 to 4, that's when you do your tracks. Okay. And then the rest of the time, you're together doing, like, games or whatever. Hmm. But for that designated time, like, you have that one. Are you talking almost so almost more like farms where you get where you get to pick. Yeah. Yeah, like that. So you're with girls with your own interests for a set amount of time right. and then you mingle. Right. Yeah. By age or whatever. So yeah, like age all, okay. all the kids together of one age, but then they can divide right. up and go to the activities. Okay. I think. Yeah. All right, we'll be right here if you want to add to it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one thing we always like to ask is, what makes the Green and White Mountain Council special? What are your positives? What makes you oh. different from Alabama? Oh. Us. <laughs> we have four seasons. Alabama has yep. one. <laughs> four seasons. <laughs> oh, the scenery. <laughs> scenery. A variety of outdoor activities. Yeah. We have the mountains and the ocean. And the, and the big lakes. <laughs> From a camp perspective, I think that we offer uh, summer options as a single sex organization, and it's a it's affordable in comparison to some other all girls camps in the area. Um, and I will say that I, my daughters all went to camp. They felt like they had a decision in when the group decided, like, where we're going to do our sleep out. Like, they were part of that group decision making process. Girl decision. Girl decision. Except yeah. for a one time, my kids have had outstanding counselors. They seem to hire really good counselors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, why do we think the counselors? Are great. Is it just? I think they have just have a really good relationship with the kids, and they. But is there a training session that you guys have for the counselors, or do you try to recruit alumni, all of that? All of that. Um, two things. One, um, is there a week long program for the older girls, or is it only two weeks? There is that time. I just thought that was it. I remember the girls looking and going, I don't want to do it for two weeks, I only want to do it for a month or five days or whatever, especially as they get older. So that option is a full reason, four day weekend. Yeah, so a four day long yeah. weekend would be great because these guys, they're just so busy. Like you if they have work or whatever. Especially if you're working. Yeah. Having that like Friday to Monday or Thursday or Monday. So I'll put that over here, four day weekend. All right, what else makes us special here? Um, the thing about the, the comment about the counselors, um, Corky thinks the Farnsworth counselors. Yeah, the Farnsworth counselors, I think, are the best. <laughs> most I've been to most of the camps. I just think they're the most um, inviting and, and like fun. And there were a lot of return counselors, like for like they might return three or four years until they um, didn't come back, and so the kids really look forward to seeing who's coming them back. Again. A lot of return mm -hmm. campers. Okay. But I will say my girls were scared at Tanoa of the counselors. They were. <laughs> and they did not want to go again. In fact, they, to, to this day, she's like, I hate Tanoa. Because of that. Not the facilities. The facilities are beautiful. Yeah, they, like the they were scared of the counselors. Are there surveys that the girls take after they go? Yes. Okay, so that's good. There's an international, they recruit international counselors, which was. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we do it all of our kids. Both of our Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't want to blame it on the international, but 
<laughs> no, my daughters like the international. Right. They have. So do I. I think it's a positive thing. Yeah. Yes. Um, they do a really good job at the camps of if your child is feeling homesick, of dealing with it without them calling home. Okay. <laughs> but they are <laughs> homesick <laughs> counseling. <laughs> um, you know, like, you know, Corky has a comment about that. Go ahead. Um, personally, like, if I were home, like, I'd rather go home. But, um, like, my destination, Alabama, I went for a week and the first two days absolutely hated it. Um, it's like my first time really being away from home. And we did get our cell phones at night, and that really helps. Well, like, I love the last few days. I actually went back for the year after that. I loved it so much. But, um, I think being able to talk to my, my parents actually helped. How old were you? Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you want a destination, and you think most girls would get more benefit of I think it depends. Time. It depends yeah. on who you are. I think either way. <laughs> so, so <laughs> well, as I to know, but my girls could not call home, and that was a big issue for them because they were not comfortable with these counselors. Yeah. And I think it was because, years old too. yeah, they were young and the. The girls had blue hair and they had piercings and you know it was just right. very it was mm -hmm. their first experience with right. and I know we talk about diversity and they should you know see this but it's the first time that these kids mm -hmm. like going there now wouldn't be a problem because we're right. older and like having them going to high school you get a you get a variety of everyone um, but as a younger kid I think it was just like I guess different so I think if they had been able to call us maybe I don't know there are three that wanted to and couldn't and they were they were upset. I think I'd offer a different perspective. One of the things that I think makes uh, Girl Scout camp special in general is that we don't have technology. That I appreciate that experience for my daughters, and I don't want them to have technology or be around other kids who do. But I agree with that. I totally think agree. We, you know, just it's just a different perspective. But I, totally I think agree. it makes it special. She doesn't agree with that. I Okay. Anyone on the phone want to add anything? Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> I would say that our our camps are all encompassing from the day of resident camp. That the fee that you pay is the fee that is there. There's no like if you're doing the just coasting trip where you're going. So there's no added money. So Six Flags. So no additional service fees. Like um, for training posts. Right. Yeah. Except for like personal like, right things. I would say that I like how like they do entire camp things like the singing on the dining hall or things and then each unit like so the kids get the experience of that closest group in their unit and then they have the whole whole camp thing going on too. And do you ever have um, intercamp things, days, competitions? There's some between the resident camps but they're happy. Sailing races between camp I mean we have started with some of like not competition, but like with the day camps of trying to partner the day camps. The day campers going to the resident camps to do activities there to okay. help with. So what do we call that? Camp or sharing? Yeah. Well, and even, I mean, I know in technology we want to get away from it sometimes, but a Girl Scout camp could be in the technology room and communicate with some African girls group. And yeah, I mean, in today's world, it's, and it's only scheduled for a small part of the day, but, and I don't know if the girls would want to do that. I mean, it's more global economy. My recent week, I'm going to tell you if you are on their property, and near my own facility, this was in Texas, all the cabins were activated, the air conditioning for the key. So they offered everything there that a girl would really want to do. They had a technology lab, the science lab, the craft room, they had a basketball court, the, girl. the water skiing, canoeing, kayaking, everything. Mm -hmm. They had a pool. Mm -hmm. I think what's important is to keep in mind that the program centers have to offer opportunities that girls are going to want to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before you come as a special, can we add? I think Karen mentioned like a family connection to our camps. I think that's mm -hmm. quite yeah. strong. There's lots of families who they either go every year or they went when they were children and now their daughters so are going. Family legacy like participation and connection. Mm -hmm. Another special thing uh, 
is the cost of renting our camps for um, troops and groups is reasonable. A really big plus is that the girls can use their cookie dough that they've earned to help offset the cost of camp. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, cookie money towards camp? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll have this too, so we can keep adding. So, resident camp needs improvements. We've talked a lot about them. Any others that we want to identify? Um, sleeping and bathroom facilities for both genders. <coughs> um, so that, yeah. <coughs> And why don't we do um, summer camps as well? Do we want to do right, like summer? day camps? Summer day camps. We're talking about improvement, right? So then that would be about yeah, needs one. we might not have identified as a pro and con or yeah, just draw an arrow gender across. Just yeah, <laughs> gender just so we make clear. Yeah, we do have some of the male leaders. Yeah. Okay. Well, especially with family camping, mm -hmm. you know, family, yeah, and being able to rent them out to outside groups that mm -hmm. need to have them. Okay. Um, adequate uh, tools to implement progressive yeah. learning opportunities. So, talking about like team building, you know, that all of our sites have the option to be able to do those take out progressive options. Yeah. I think a resident camp needs a good, strong, a waterfront that has progression in that waterfront, especially. So, a beginner swimming area, a more advanced swimming area, and, uh, you know, fun things to do mm -hmm. at the waterfront. A water slide or a zip line into the water or something that would be... <laughs> oh, huh? Rope swing. Uh, rope swings. Rope swings. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. We'll worry about the liability issues later. Right now we can. <laughs> <laughs> ADA facilities. Yeah, ADA facilities. ADA, yeah. yeah, that's a beauty. Larger year-round sleeping. Larger year-round and yeah. dorm-like sleeping. Yeah. I think we need to do a better job of promoting from within. I don't, mm. at least in my area, see a lot of troops doing the troop camping or the troop winter lodging anymore. <coughs> and I think big picture, I think we need to have a better um, support for marketing and recruiting and promoting all of these things because if we don't have that, if we're not promoting it to our outside audiences, we can have the best waterfront, but if we don't have something to promote it, then people aren't going to come. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, to jump off of that, if you don't have the staff to make it available, Girl Scouts has a lot of rules. We need lifeguards, we need washers, <laughs> all of those things. If those are not available, then having the most beautiful facility in the world isn't going right. to make it work either. Right. Mm -hmm. So I would say maybe like a core staff at some of the on-site. Oh, right. So on facility, or staff on-site. Core on-site staff. Yeah. And also like a list of, like I said, like, um, Area people that we can rent, like, hey, yes. we need to rent yep. two lifeguards. We need to just, uh, yeah. lifeguards well, or if kayak. You're, uh, or, if you're talking about the, what, service, service, service providers, providers certified. Staff, certified. Staff, the camp would have your lifeguard and your something and your cook and your director and, and partners. Know, that would be the yeah. core staff. Yeah. 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 Just so we're yeah. now yeah. brainstorming yeah. for troop and community needs. Yeah, let's <laughs> just, uh, we're just, <laughs> true, because, right, unless we're running our resident camps in the summertime, then we're now talking about what our, what our Girl Scout needs here are year round. Whispering Pines is beautiful, and I think they have everything that everybody's talking about, down in um, Massachusetts. Whispering Pines? Mm -hmm. By Falmouth area. Okay. I think they have the staff, I think they have, because I know they rented out to a lot of people in Washington. Outside organizations do. Um, and they've got ropes courses. And so is that is that a goal of ours? Is to make the facilities more available to others, or are we only addressing our own needs? Mm -hmm. oh. hmm. 
if we have a facility that has all these things that appeals to our people, it means that if we're not using it fully, we can rent it out. Right. It'll also appeal to us. So others. we will have priority. Yes. Oh, yes. oh yeah. GSPWN. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because we're putting our mission first. Right. We're not right. building anything that won't fit our mission. Right. If, as a side note, when it's not being used, we could rent it to others. Right. But if we rented it out and somebody in Ross House wants it, They'd have to be timelines and rules and regulations. It has to be correct. Just like you two weeks of Just like can't sit idle. When yeah. I was talking about marketing and better support, I was talking more from like a resident and maintenance perspective of getting more campers in there that would like want all of these things that right. we need to have more campers to be able to help on right. And I think the market, I think it'll sell itself if it has everything they want. Right. Multi multi purpose space that can be used mm -hmm. for STEM mm -hmm. and for arts and crafts. Uses. We really need a um, a winter lodge somewhere. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because when Sunset well, Valley is gone, that's the biggest lodge that's the we biggest have. Week. And right. Year -round. So year round, fifty two week facility. So um, year round. And when we're talking about multi purpose full space, mm -hmm. like, um, we've done a lot of touring some other camps and like there's one camp that we toured that has like their chimney is actually a climb wall and then inside mm -hmm. their year-round facility it actually has a ropes course inside mm -hmm. um, so it can actually be pulled up and they, they have yeah, huge so barn doors, doors that you open so, so during the summer it feels like you're outside when you're not yeah. these two stores and there's an outside amphitheater that they then use the inside as a stage as well. Right, but it's dual use. Yeah. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. shut the barn doors huh. and it's year round. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, trips. Okay. It would be great to see um, Catapult. You know, have like a retreat center. Mm -hmm. We could do so centrally located. That would be great. Yeah, we could do it for the leaders to have leader trainings. We could, you know, I, I don't know. It just would be, be so nice to take my older girls there and just mm -hmm. it's close mm -hmm. if they had to leave. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It would be nice to have Kettleford in particular. It would be year round, mm -hmm. but yeah. you know. Uh, others, we definitely need the, the year-round facility. Well, yes, Kettleford's not convenient to our Vermonters. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. sure. they, they, we need year-round facilities near our population centers. Yes, yes. So, yeah. but, and I'm not saying that any of our properties might fit that need. Mm -hmm. One thing that I would also say is um, the ability at our daycare locations to be able to have like a rain area. Mm -hmm. Currently, they have oh, their right. Adirondacks, but. A rain area to get like pavilions shelters. or something, yeah. some shelters, shelters, adequate shelters for for larger groups. <laughs> yeah, during the summer, yeah. or even for the around programs. Because if we run the around program currently at any of our places, yeah. it's if we don't have yeah. or like yeah. fall or early spring. Yeah, programs. So if, it's rainy, if it's a rainy day mm -hmm. and we have two hundred people at Seawood. There's not a building to add, but right. put them all together. Even that's if you have all the buildings, there's not. We've had that. Right. Right. Every time we have camp break, we some of um, or all of the camps no. to no. build. We're just not taking putting back on the board properties that we've already agreed to sell. But the, in the dreaming, so it might be that we'd rather to say, sell all of the properties and build and, and buy a giant facility in Montreal. You know, it could be anything. You know, <laughs> we all want to be in the Bermudas <laughs> and <laughs> say, <laughs> <"You're at laughs> okay, so sell all properties and build the one. Build the dream. Build the dream. Build the dream. Just get the set out there. Yes. And build. Yeah. What do we want to call it? I, our Wonderland. Center? Wonderland. Wonderland. <laughs> dream. Dream. Under Land Dream. Dream Camp. So, <laughs> piggybacking off of that, I know this is something that Shannon and I have talked about, is um, facilities that are LEED certified. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is anybody interested in that? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if everyone knows what that means. What about the girl in the room? We just I leads know what it is. I, it's a green building, so it's um, energy efficient, uh, water conservation, air quality, using recycled materials. Yeah, I think it would. Of course. I think that it has yeah, those, but also allows girls expensive. to go and learn about how it works so they can see kind of behind the scenes yeah, as yeah, part yeah. of the right. right. energy yeah. focus on that. So I would give those places to see yeah. it in action. And it's healthier. Right. One of the examples we have over here from another council is exactly that. It's a LEED certified building, and you can figure out how all of the recycling works, all, all of the rain management, mm -hmm. the rain is reused in the toilets. Well, can you add on facilities that allow us to meet parents' safety requirements? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very similar to the parents' safety. Yeah, a lot of parents now want gates on the properties or buildings that are locked or staff closer okay. to where the cameras are. Okay. Um, security. Security lighting. Mm -hmm. Security lighting. Yeah. I think lighting on the ground, especially. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes a tie along with that is like. Uh, any new cabins that are built on any of our resident camps or even our day camps is something that has like camper sleeping areas and then also so variety. Like, yeah. Variety of sleeping. But like even at some of the tours we've done, like it's been more like camper sleeping areas off to the side and then in between the two cabins. Is it so it's like an attached building, it's almost like a U. Huh. And then the counselor cabin is in the center. So they're together, but right. still separate. Separate. So right. the hall. counselor cabin, cabin. Yeah. yeah. Are they attached by any wall? Yeah, they're yeah. attached. Okay. And then somewhere else, there are tents. No, 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 no tents. No, 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 no tents. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. I would love to see the a building with wings on it with a center location right. that you can have programming okay. and then or a kitchen area or something and then off the sides there's wings for sleeping areas. But again like a dorm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so that, this is a big theater dining. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be huge, you know, that can serve even just twenty four kids with twelve right. on either side or something. But bathrooms, bathrooms and then a dorm. Yeah. With a common room off the back with a deck. Gender <laughs> area for sleep. Yeah, and then one of the. Yeah. If you do that, then you could have boys and girls. Boys and girls. Right, boys on one side, girls on the other, as long as they have the bathroom separate. Maybe we stick the deck over here. On the side. Yeah. So you have a private area outside. I think there, Trisha, I know that another council you've shown that out. That way you can rent the entire thing if you have a really large troop, or you can rent it to two separate troops. Yeah, right. I think it has different flexible. Is there a kitchen in there anymore? There is. Great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the outdoor theater with the barn door. <laughs> okay. Here, seating. Right. But you can have a whole bunch of those. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entry. Mm -hmm. A fire pit. <laughs> Multiple fire pits in <laughs> general. If we can make sure we have yeah, technology, we can bring it. Yeah, yeah. 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 back there. Pulls back. I don't have to crawl around. Yeah. Yes, thank you. What about culinary? Do you get girls want to? Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Well, <laughs> that got a yeah. yum, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, where are we here? Do we want to partner with any other clubs or organizations? For the gardens? If somebody else has the facilities that we're looking for, we should partner with them. 
Maybe we need to own this. <laughs> what gardens? What was it? Uh, community gardens. Community gardens. Well, it just seems to me we're talking about healthy, you know, humans, right? For girls. And so I think you better talk about food when you talk about healthy futures. Mm -hmm. So nutrition, culinary programs, maybe. So that's, you know, it has implications for both the residents as well as the programmers. And of course, being one of the fundraisers in the room, we're thinking about the underwriting opportunities right. here. What about UNH? Uh, Stonyfield. Stonyfield. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely UNH or any of the big schools. <coughs> any of the schools. Kansas State College. Dartmouth. 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 Um, UVM. <laughs> hey, I said that first. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we said exactly the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, what was that? K I was going to say things that are existed already that were easily possible. Something like the Green Mountain Club, which already has outreach programs. For kids. Ah, okay, Green Mountain Club. Right, and that's just easily accessible. They already have uh, guide guides that do tr backpacking trips. And yeah, so that would be a easily same accessible. with the AMC. Or the Audubon. Yeah. yeah. Adventuring also. That's through the EMS. Yeah. Yeah. With the gardens, we have done partnerships with the um, state garden clubs. Okay. Green Mountain Coffee. Interesting <laughs> programs. <laughs> what are common man would assist with with the culinary program? Mm -hmm. What I'm, about some of the activities that the girls are trying to do, like yeah. boating and horses? Are there any? Some of the marina, marinas, perfect. Yeah. Because yeah, we've done a sailing club on Lake we Champlain. Sail on Lake Champlain. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's the only one we have a sailing partnership mm -hmm. with. And what about maybe a horse, a farm, horse farm? I mean, how do you yeah. get the horses? Yeah, we rent the horses from a horse farm, okay. and then so the, other horse farm. We also have yeah. a collaborative program with quite a few other riding facilities. With other stables. Dartmouth has one, yeah. UNH has a really good program. Yeah. yeah. Okay. UNH has a really good group sports as well. That's a complete universal. Mm -hmm. What other large New Hampshire companies could? Yeah, or Vermont. Yeah, or Vermont. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah. Our phone, right. Our phone, phone attendees yeah. are all in King Arthur. King Arthur, King King Arthur. would be a great yes. one for some of the cooking so things. What about seventh generation? Yeah. 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 Majestic. They're always a team up. They do boys and girls clubs. We have several programs with them. Yeah. 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 Can you guys think of some theaters up in the Vermont area specific ones that we could target for partnerships? Um, St. Michael's. Glenn Theater? Glenn, yeah. There's one at St. Michael's. Yeah. 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 There's a great oh, one at White. Um, oh, the one in Portsmouth? Oh, the uh, Northern State. Yeah, yeah, Prescott, Prescott Park is a fun one. Um, Northern State. Did you guys get Lost Nation in Montpelier? Lost Nation? Yes, in Montpelier. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, lost. Right. Okay. Maybe we need to say Montpelier just so we remember. The players Peterborough players. Yeah. There's lots of community theaters yeah, yeah. with them, but some of them are better. Would be better to partner in the summer than others. Right. But there's other year-round yeah. opportunities. Okay. We do. We partner with government. Government. Yeah, the government. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A legislative partner. Yeah.
PC connections, this invention, EAE, Fidelity, Liberty Project. Oh, what's that? Many of the um, art galleries or art studios for art, you know, to do advanced arts and craft programs are different. What other needs? Well, I did hear whitewater rafting. We might need to find some yes. whitewater rafting companies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and apparently <laughs> surfing facilities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whitewater. Yeah, there's there's several in Maine, and then there's also in New York. Because I know I went in one in New York outside of Albany once. Okay. Any other partners? This is very interesting because I go on the Patriot Council all the time, which is now. Eastern, Eastern Mass, Eastern Mass, Mass line, um, to see what they offer, and um, they partner a lot with outdoor companies. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we use the radio and TV stations? If girls want to get yeah. into that technology, Mark, oh, yeah. ties into the marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have a tough time getting in there. Oh, yeah. I, I do. I, I, I've tried yeah. to get field trips. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Concord Community yeah. TV. Okay, so there you go. Well, BCTV yeah. we can get into it, but not like MUR or one or not radio stations. Oh, interesting, because we do a program with WZID several times a year. Yeah. Well, that girls go Stephanie in and do things. Great idea to add to our want. Well, so just yes. for, our, for our program center, we had facilities that had radio or TV broadcasting okay. capabilities. The girls could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they could do podcasting for the house so they could yeah. compare some of these videos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would love to have like a camera lab or something so that they can learn mm -hmm. you know, our yeah, learn video camera so they and, can do. Yeah. You know what? We could run our own little restaurant I'll do sir, and make some money that way. Actually, that's what. Let's start, start by our really let's start they have their own cafe. They want you to laugh. <laughs> 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 great idea. So we have a cafe in there outside community that comes and visits it all the time. Oh, that is great. That is great. Cool. All right, where are we here? Um, so, two councils have now merged, but we have a big river in between the two <laughs> so states. Like a lot of rafting down. There, <laughs> there we go. Connecticut River. <laughs> Instead of using a raft, we're going to just jump on one of the icebergs. Okay. So tubing? Or, um, are we answering a particular question? Yes. The two councils have merged but seem to be divided by the Connecticut River. So how do we integrate the councils because we have this geographic separation? So what are some thoughts, ideas on how to interact? Or do the girls not want to interact? Um, I know for the girls from the capital, um, at least in the beginning of this year, we all met once and then we separated. It was nice having a big group just to see. So one big meeting? Everyone, one yeah. large meeting. Two being use of Connecticut River. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the water skiing comes in and the yes. white water rafting. <laughs> no, only just <laughs> kayaking down there. I think some of the programming, like, Something has really helped a great deal. Kids always looking forward to meeting other kids from other parts of the council. And I think that that, that like a sister to sister program has been really sister. effective in in that. Um, but that's only a day event. But I think that's been very effective. So it's a day at the beginning. Do you do anything at the end? No, that's a special one day program oh, that's designed oh. to bring everyone together. Okay. Um, that has been effective. Right, and it's so it's a large program designed for a whole okay. bunch of girls to come together versus okay some of the smaller programs. How else can we help bridge and get more interaction? Expos, big expo. Kind of like Girltopia. 
Is that what you're thinking? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What about swapping counselors for a day? So a counselor can go, or swapping the girls and you get the other counselor. And the camps. Maybe you're saying you're saying you're girls just in a different place. Correct. You have to um, swap back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What are you what are you swapping? I'm just either. I don't know. I, I'm I'm just no, but I mean they, to. but no, but the camps are, are are joint. Yeah. That's true. What are you swapping? You're not swapping. Right. Oh. So you're I mean yes. you're already next year. Yeah. I think the outreach program is really good. The outreach? Yeah. And what do you mean by that? Um I don't know, maybe doing like a like four day mission trip somewhere. Yes, yeah, oh. to pull people in from all over and then go someplace. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I think the outreach would be good. Okay, good comment. Look at it. Have a chat So then you can come back and bring your knowledge yeah. back to your own. Like the thing I like about the destinations is that you meet people from all over the country. Um, and I'm still good friends with probably about half of them. Mm -hmm. We're still like, keep in contact with each other sometimes. So I think it'd be nice to do stuff in Vermont just because then you also have those contacts doing those friends. Yeah, you can have alumni gatherings of your destination yeah. groups. Well, and if, if you promote what's unique about Vermont and New Hampshire, there are kids that may want to come from Texas. Mm -hmm. or, no. Where it's so hot. <laughs> Maybe my copier. My destination for our council. Like yeah, that would my be daughter's good. going on destinations to other yes. councils, but some kind of destination where okay. the destination mountains and the sea kind yes. of thing. Mountains. Destination within our big supports. Make a destination. <laughs> Have we done that before? Not since yeah. not since we've become one. Not since it's we've become one. Not, not as the Green White Mountains. Turf. That's right. <laughs> the sea of the mountains. Surfing in JP. Yeah. I think actually a lot of girls mountain climbing. The girls would always ask Quirky when she was in all parts of the country. You know, oh, what's New Hampshire like? Right. Never met this. I think doing a ski trip with the with the two states. There's lines in between all of us. Mm -hmm. That would be a great yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. So you all meet for a ski bus. Yeah. It's still on the We need to do a ski bus trip. Yes. Go from resort to resort. So partners ski resorts. I think another thing about helping with the bridge of Vermont and New Hampshire is um, coming more up to date with social media and marketing trends. I think how we have Facebook page account. We have one. Facebook. Yeah, I, I know we have like a general one, but having like for specific. They were saying having a Facebook <laughs> page, an event Facebook page. Yeah, I know we have a general one, but like having the, for me at least, like the specific events one, just as a reminder. And you can like go on and you can further look into it if there's links. Yeah. It's okay. easier than like, um, yeah. Okay. I do like our annual meeting because you see the same people like from all over. Similarly, I, I enjoy Farnsworth trip. Farnsworth. Farnsworth weekend. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, for the same reason. Yeah. Right, so opportunities for us all to come together. Right, right. Okay. Adults and adults. for the adults come together and also for girls yeah. together. No, that's so the right. adults want to get together more than once a year or something. Okay. Well, that might be the biggest way to bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. Opportunities throughout the long year, more than once a year, but at least once a year is very nice. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you do a camp for me down there. Do the adults do a day activity like the girls do? The farms are the farms. We do a weekend. Yeah. Okay, that is yeah. great. Training that. Need to do more. We need to do more. But do you go yeah. skiing together? Do you no. No. Do no. something no. fun. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. actually yeah. get a meet up program. Yeah, there is a meet up program. Yeah, yeah. Meet Which yeah. that's really cool, but if you're like most people are so busy, you don't <laughs> when you work 40 hours a week, you can't do most of those activities. Yeah. Well, I'm going to throw out a sort of a concept here. My girls are six and eight. They have always been Girl Scouts of the Green White Mountains. And so, there has to be a certain population for which uh, girls 
believe that New Hampshire and Vermont have always been the same. Yes, they are. Yeah. And so what are we doing with our younger girls to help them continue those sort of friendships? Like mm -hmm. what I've clear, heard is, you know, they're coming together, but we are together for a large, I would assume a large population of girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think we also have to um, have better communication and sharing that there's a lot of things that can happen, but if people don't register to participate in okay, a timely fashion or opt out, yeah. then that also sends a message the opposite way to your to the staff. So, how do I, what do I write for that? <laughs> take advantage of what's offered. Continued yeah. participation of available activities. Okay, are we finding out Continue why they aren't continuing? Is there a reason? Well, I would say for like a lot of these things, like we hear a lot, well, this wasn't offered in Portsmouth, but okay, it was so they offered they in Portsmouth, and so nobody regis registered, so it was canceled. So, communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, yes. Of advertised programs? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's even with yeah. adult training. We offer bulls training. And people don't no register, and then people call and say, "We need bulls training." Yes, it's not really communication. Yes, or like registration participation. Uh, all right. It's the balance. Then. Okay. Right. Programs or trainings get canceled because people don't register, and then people, after the fact complain that the events right. don't take place, but we don't have enough people, and in many cases, if they're vendor programs, we don't control the numbers. Mm -hmm. We can't offer bowls every weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, is there a master email list that this goes out to? That's a a yes. bowl brochure. Oh. We send out brochures. Okay. So, you're doing what you can do. It's on our website. On but 50% like of the people opt out of the emails. Okay. Um, or don't open them. Okay. <laughs> That no matter where you are in this council, and I am new to the council, that what we are offering the girls and the volunteers, we can honestly say that what we're offering in STEM or healthy living or outdoor adventure groups, it is accessible to every girl, no matter where she is right. in this council. Okay. I want to see program facilities that we can use for those girls. For whatever it is that they want to do. And I think that will help bring people. What's your distance definition of accessible? Yeah, I think it varies by age. Mm -hmm. What's your distance definition of accessible? Okay, I'm coming from a council in Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay, that had <laughs> two days for the girls in each of the five areas of the council. They had the facility room, they had drug programs, they had the climbing walls within the membership. Okay, I think she meant how many hours would be willing to drive to get to that. That depends upon the culture. If she's talking Texas, I'm not even going to ask the question. <laughs> 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 they didn't have to drive five hours to go on that climbing wall that's at that one property. They had right. within their range of where they were. Does, does that mean one hour? One okay, hour? yeah. That's what we're what asking. Does it mean one hour? One Probably hour. here, wouldn't you say it'd be under an hour? I would say. No, I think it depends on the girls' needs. Yeah. You're not going to take kindergartners three hours for an event. Or you might drive. No, but it would be nice to convince leaders that they could drive for an hour. Right. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The girl surveys indicated that it would be one hour for a one day event and two to three hours for a multi-day event. That's what our surveys reported for the girls in the membership for their travel. Um, if they're only going for an afternoon event, they're going to want to go for a shorter time. You want the event to last longer than your driving time round trip. So now we're not talking about our dream camp. Now we're talking about activity. Dream camp. Right. Well, you may be talking about, yeah, a, a center. It depends on where it's located, but where people can get to. All right. You're also you're also maybe talking something different if you're talking about resident camp for two weeks, or whether you're talking about.
programs for, for, programs right. for a day for or even a up even a weekend. Right. Absolutely. Are there partners? Do yes. Have museums do not yet. Okay. No, I'm just thinking of Montshire and Vermont. That's a great yeah, location, a great. isn't it? Well, yeah. see and, and what about music? Music yeah. was the thing. What, what um, partners? Aerosmith. That's the guy in the university. Big music programs. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Both you and H and UVF both have all girl acapella groups. Oh yeah. And Dartmouth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. We have a question. How do we further the Girl Scouts mission? Which I think we. have Kind of covered in our dream and thoughts yeah. and um, are there programs or facilities in other states that we want to adopt you've been talking a little bit about ones that you visited um, we have these three buildings here um, that are program centers is program a program center concept something you want to look at Oh, Mara Vista. Mara Vista. Oh, yeah, so, that place is awesome. <laughs> what is so it? Fun. It's, it's run like, by the American Youth Federation. They have the, the building where it has the um, fireplace. It's a climbing town. Yeah. Tower. It's, it's a red That's red actually red. in our state, one of our two states. Where is yeah, it? it's in New Hampshire. Yeah. 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 It's in New Hampshire, yeah. the Lakes region. Where is it? Um, it's like in. I want to say an hour or something. Is it, it's an Ossipi or one of those. Okay. Okay. Do something with Boston and Boston? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there is, but. Right. Well, if we talk about facilities, I'd love to have a program center <laughs> that where staff are on site mm -hmm. that are. Staff aren't just in an office that seems inaccessible, you know, that we're where the girls and the programs are so that we can be rejuvenated by our mission and the girls. Um, and that we see the girls and we're able to do interactive activities. Um, and we don't really have that right now anywhere. But I will say that we also need to have a balance between putting it on the right side because not yeah. all of our current properties okay. necessarily. Provide the best right. opportunity to do that. Oh no! You don't want to be out, way out in the woods. Well, yeah. well, no, not just that, but we don't want to necessarily be on on top of the girls. Yeah. The girls doing their, their right. camp right. programming, right. right? And because if we think of Seawood, just as an example, I mean it's 35, 40 acres. Mm -hmm. But if we had a year round, like an office building of this size, there. Mm -hmm. On top of it, right? Where are you going to have the day camp? Where are you going to scale have this? this thirty-five acres? Take some of the trees down. <laughs> but it's not all buildable lot. Oh, okay. Eastern Mass has uh, a, a facility like that called Cedar Hill and Wall. Oh, Cedar, yeah. Where they have the museum, they have offices. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, we need a museum. <laughs> It's really nice. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Well, the ones yeah. that actually have there is amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah training yeah. events. Yeah, training, training, training facility. Terrible. <laughs> 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 I have two. Sorry. Have those last kids in the front in the bookshelf. Well, I, I actually, like, I actually like, 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 like yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you see it in this building. I actually think the Boy Scouts at Camp Carpenter, I think that's a, not Carpenter, sorry, um, the one up near Winnipesaukee. Oh, so no, in the Valley. In the Valley. In the Valley. In Valley. Valley. Thank you. In Valley. Valley. That is Valley. so great. You have two <clears throat> separate camps. One is more wilderness, and they cook themselves, and the other has this brand new facility because they partnered up with um, the uh, Rain Institute, and they now do the... Um, it's a huge money maker. Though. Speaking of that, the Brain Institute is like I'm on the board for that, and they're always looking for people to partner with, um, like all the time. So. I was on the committee, and they partnered with the Brain Institute for um, three air shows with the Blue Angels. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They made moon show that's awesome. and that's why they built the new facility. That's yes. how they got the new facility, mm -hmm. and it's awesome. Well, I even like um, the new building that the, the building they have out at um, 
uh, Camp Carpenter. Oh, it's a training awesome. and yeah. store, awesome. and awesome. Uh, it's just a big multi-purpose yeah. building. And it's used as a dining hall during summer right. camp. But mm -hmm. So they've got training yeah. adults. And where is that one? That's in Manchester. 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 Oh. It's just, it, to me, they don't use it as much as they could. No, right. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's not a full program center, but it's an, it's a very interesting and. Uh, and their, their camp Building. store is there. We right. buy all your uniforms and parts and things. Like that. Their, their museum is there. Yeah, I just, yes. I just think they could use it more, but Maybe. it's an interesting building. I think one thing to think about with them is um, what, whatever building that we look at building, in some, at one of the camps that we looked at, their dining hall actually had the ability to like open out to like the mm -hmm. outside air. So it was like almost almost like they do garage doors, doors but right not really mm -hmm. nicer than that because i find the combination can be used year-round but during the right. summer it still feels like a camp right possible. yeah okay year-round yeah. 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 and multi very multi-purpose spaces mm -hmm. Yeah, those portable walls that fold yeah. up and it make it a yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one thing to look at too is that with the staff on site is the potential to be able to offer like school programming. Okay. Do you have any home school girls? Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm staying there. Yeah. And then, I guess it does. Like, that our facilities are kept with the time, so as equipment becomes run down, right. there's like a replacement plan. So, yes, operational um, capital improvement plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good idea. Well, and we need ease. If we're looking to the future, ease of maintenance. Yes. We can't. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to maintain whatever we build yeah. and use it. Or mm -hmm. and one thing, like thinking about the schools, like how a lot of schools have built new schools, but they never really build it for like growth in their community. Right. So, like, so, so potential, potential and for the future. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there never seems to be enough technology is coming up faster than it's still not that easy. The world is pretty much the world is just great. Your your girl has to go study. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, we've gone past our time. I know. We did want to say too. Um, we were down at um, Senator Ayotte's um, office and. And her bookshelf when you walk into her office. Big, great center. Big thing. Girl Scouts. Oh, very nice. Yeah, Girl Scouts. She has a book and then she has a certificate or whatever we gave her. So she was a scout as a girl. Yeah, it's really cool. Great. Yeah. I, thank you. Yeah. All right. So, any other? questions or things that you wanted to talk about. It's something that should have gone on the generic wish list okay. is <laughs> larger <laughs> boats, kayaks, larger life jackets to accommodate the larger girls and the adults. Because mm. the Pontiacs are just too darn small. Mm. And we need to be able to accommodate all sizes. I mean, it also not just not just the, not just the yeah. little seven and eight year olds. Mm. Okay. Good. Lots of information. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. Well, one of the questions we haven't asked is as we look to the future. Do you want oh, to be right. limited to just our own council offerings, or do you want us? To, no one mentioned partnering with other Girl Scout councils. Is that something that interests you to be able to go to other councils, or for us to look beyond what we offer ourselves and see what they offer and partner programmatically in that way? That seems insane, not to. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Share your resources. Right. Tricia, have we ever tried to partner with the two buildings that are already in New Hampshire? Oh, we actually rent one of those properties um, for 
Well, actually, not one of the ones that's red spot. Yeah, it's not one of the ones that's a red spot here because it's not one of the residue camp. Um, but we do rent monogamy, which is um, for whispering pines. I'm just using it now. Eastern, Eastern Mass. Well, Eastern Mass, Mass, they don't offer it. That is a residence camp. But Eastern Mass owns oh, another property that's not on here. Family program. What are they doing with it? Family camp in the summertime for weekends. And then that has been running off during the Yeah. Several years ago, um, Swiftwater had done a partnership with what was then Farm Spindle mm -hmm. to operate a joint day camp on the Pelham property where we had lost one of our Pelhams, he's one of our properties. Um, and that was very well received by the girls. There was a lot of positive response. I will tell you, the adults had a much more difficult time with it. Um, but the girls had very positive reviews and evaluations. Um, so it takes a rethinking on our adults' part as well the, for us to be talking about some of these things. Yeah. <laughs> Paso is not far from Farnsworth. That's, that's only about an hour south of Farnsworth. Yeah. But, yeah. What is here? Mombasa. She was saying Mombasa. Mombasa, which is run by Eastern Mass. Mombasa. Yeah. And that seems to be, a, that would be a, a reasonable kind of um, partnership to look at. They too have horses. Uh, and they have a great waterfront, actually. Um, but that, that might be a, a, something to look into in terms of programming. Yeah. So with that, that actually is pretty centrally located as well. Right. And and some of the places, there's two large camps in um, eastern New York's council that could very well serve our western population um, to, you know, if, if we can't do it all. Um, I know that we're talking with other councils about using our property, so I was just curious as to what people in this room thought about us actually talking with the other councils about sh joint sharing. Are you talking about? Are you talking about girls going? Or are you talking about troop camping or training spots? All anything's on the table as far as I'm concerned. Like the possibility you could use your cookie dough at other councils' camps. The possibility that we might decide to do one or two big camps all together and have this dream camp if we want to focus that on camps and do it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing a training would be another another joint really training. As well. Yeah, on these facilities. You know, not everyone has to come to our store to buy their Girl Scout stuff. Yes, it benefits our budget, but if it's easier for someone to go somewhere else, does it make sense for us to build a, an office building to have a store in it when they can drive five miles across a border? Or right next to their work. Or right. How about internationally? Are there any Girl Scout councils right there in Canada that we could? Girl guiding? That is not one I've looked at, but it's something that we could certainly talk about. Yeah. I'm not too sure what the Girl Guides have for facilities. I don't know what they have up there. But there are. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Is it French? Yeah. I know there are because some there are people who have gone over. Yeah. We've had troops cross the border into Canada and do some camping, but I'm not too sure how far up they are. And they don't. I don't think they're operated as resident camps. They would definitely be troop camping overnight. But I think. And one thing we never feel part of is the state have to go across the border. But you don't. But you don't have to have a Girl Scout camp. No, there are all I, yeah. sorts of facilities for camping. I mean, state parks. State, I, I think Vermont's are much better than New Hampshire's at this point. Yeah. But mm -hmm. even to the extent of things like a ranger on, I mean, a naturalist on site, and mm -hmm. yeah, kinds of things, lifeguards, <laughs> lifeguards, yeah, yeah, some of them. Some of them. Great, you guys have been very patient. We're over our two hour mark. So, are we going to solicit other ideas as you have them in some way? Is there a way for people to. Well, what we'll have to do is consolidate all the information from the three charrettes. We have asked on the attendance list um, for email addresses um, for people so that we can send it back out to you as well what comes up from all three of the charrettes. Um, the next step in this process is for Ingrid to kind of take some of these ideas and we're going to design some things or try and consolidate it, design some things if there are certain issues that come out as the dreams we need to have. 
we're going to have to look at our current facilities to see if they can host any of the dreams. You know, um, like was said here tonight, maybe it doesn't make sense that we limit ourselves to the five, well, the five properties discussed here, not to mention this office building we own. You know, we don't have to limit ourselves to these six locations to do any future building. We can, we can look. Um, so that's something we're going to have to do once we've got all the input from the various groups. And then we're going to take it to um, some potential funders and see if people would even support this because the most important item is that we could actually build what we dream. Um, you know, we didn't discuss finances at all. How we're going to pay for this all. is our charrette. This is the charrette. So then Reality's the next step is to here. take that and start putting it in some reality. And what can we do? Because the reality is we can't build, you know, ten of the same things. Um, we probably can't even build five of the same things. And what's the priority? <laughs> well, how about one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if we're talking about a resident camp that has all these things, could we do with one? You know, that would serve all of our girls. It would certainly bridge the river to have everyone coming in one location. Um, Can I ask uh, about your expectation? Is it your expectation that building would bring in more girls and thus increase membership? Would it serve existing membership? Would it retain girls past the sixth grade level? What is your is there a thought towards that? All of, yes. all all of those. <laughs> I mean, right now we're losing girls in our camps because there's not progression and because the facilities are inadequate to meet their needs and interests. We've done um, surveys with the girls who haven't returned. So as far as our camping facilities, we've also done uh, surveys with the girls who haven't gone to camp. So how can we serve more girls is by doing what they'd like to have with progression. As far as if we're looking at a program center, one, it's putting our dollars towards the mission um, rather than you know, office space that doesn't interact with the mission, making sure we're with the mission, but it's also to interest more girls in what we're doing by offering a variety of programs. Um, so right now we don't have the real technology to do STEM programming unless we go to another site, which is great. We can partner, but a lot of the times those partners aren't available when our girls are available. So that's a problem we're running into. So we have to figure out what we need to do, where the partners can work, but we're finding that these camps, everyone wants them on the same two weekends. We're not ever going to be able to find facilities to meet all the camperies. Um, that has to be off-site. We, we can't make enough properties to serve every community during the two weekends that they all want to go in May. But as well, if we had some more year-round or extended yeah. heated facilities, then we could have serve those needs. That's right. a huge issue. But we have to be working on what the girls want in the future for the program. Yeah. So we know, and, and uh, many of them are extremely happy with what we have now, but our camps, our resident camps, are serving less than 10% of our girls. And yet it's a large portion of our budget, um, a large amount of staff goes into facilities and maintenance, so we have to really work at. Um, we have to serve the other 90% with our facilities. They, our properties have to serve the majority of the girls as well as the minority. If that helps answer that question. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You guys on the phone, if you, I think you all. This is Tricia. I think you all have my email address, or you certainly have my assistance. If you have any any other thoughts, just let us know. Yeah.